What do you mean by control statements? What is a flowchart and see? What are the rules, advantages and disadvantages of using a flowchart? Let's understand these topics in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Link Frequency and I'm Aishwarya Pattar. This video is part of a course that is C Programming for Absolute Beginners 2022. Without any further delay, let's jump into the topic. Control statements help with the control flow of the program. Control flow in C is the order in which individual statements, instructions or function calls of the program are executed or evaluated. The control statement makes it easy to make decisions and perform different tasks repeatedly and also jump from one block of code to another block. The control statements are divided into three types that is conditional statements, loop statements and jump statements. Let's understand each of them shortly in our today's video. The first one is conditional statement. These are the statements which help in implementing the decision making in the program. A conditional statement will select a set of block of code which will execute based on the condition is satisfied or not. The result of the program depends on the condition indicated. The conditional statements include the following things that is as represented on the screen which has if statement if else statement, nested if else, and lastly switch statement. Then moving on to our second type that is loop statements. Loop statements are also known as repetitive statements. The process of repeatedly executing a collection of statements is called looping. In short, loop statement in C executes a set of sequence of statements that is repeatedly executed and it executes until and unless the condition is met as false. The loop statement includes as following as shown on the screen. It has the while loop, do while loop and lastly for loop. Then moving on to the next type that is jump statements. Jump statements are the control statements which interrupt the normal flow of the program. These are the statements through which we can transfer the control anywhere in the program. It is usually used to terminate loops or switch case instantly. The jump statements include the following as represented on the screen. It has break statement, continue statement, go to statement and lastly written statement. A detailed video on conditional statements, loop statements and jump statements will be covered in our upcoming sessions. Now let's move ahead to understand what do we mean by flowchart. A flowchart is a diagrammatic representation of sequence of logical steps present in the program. It shows the connections, the flow of information and the processes within the algorithm or the program that is to be performed. We use flowchart because it is helpful for both writing the program and explaining the program to others easily. Hence, programmers use it as program planning tool to solve a problem. There are few symbols which are specifically used in the flowchart. Let's understand those symbols in our today's video. Let's jump into our screen to know those symbols. So, the first one is start and stop. The rounded rectangular box represents the flowchart's starting and the ending point. This is the first and last symbol used in the flowchart. Then the next one is processing. The rectangular box represents the arithmetic operations or the instructions to be performed such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and so on. Then the next one is input and output. The parallelogram represents the input and output type. Then moving on to the next one is decision. The diamond shaped symbol represents the true or false statement that is to be tested in the decision making process. Then moving on to the next symbol that is flow line. Flow line indicates the exact sequence in which the instructions are to be executed. Then the last one is connectors. If our flowchart is complex or occupies more than one page, then it is useful to use connectors which can avoid the confusion. So we have two types of connectors that is this particular symbol is used for on page connector and the next symbol is used for off page connector. There are few more symbols which are present in the flowchart which are rarely used. So I have basically shown you the majority of the symbols which are majorly used in our flowchart. There are certain rules for creating the flowchart. A flowchart can have only one start and one stop symbol. All the symbols in the flowchart must be connected with arrow line and avoid intersection of the flow lines. Generally, the flow of process is from top to bottom or left to right. If the flowchart becomes large and complex then we have to use the connectors. On page connectors are referenced using numbers and off page connectors are referenced using alphabets. Then moving on to the advantages of flowchart. 
it is easy to understand and to trace the errors while debugging in the software. A flowchart is an effective way to analyze the problem. Flowchart becomes very useful during the program development phase for effective coding. A flowchart is considered to be a better way of communicating the logic of the system to others. Then moving on to the last part of our video that is disadvantages of flowchart. It is difficult to draw flowchart for large and complex problems. If a change is required in the logic, then the whole flowchart must be redrawn which is again time consuming. There is no standard to determine the amount of details to be shown in the flowchart. So this video was all about control statements and the flowcharts. For any queries, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you found the video content informative. Consider subscribing to our channel Link Frequency and also don't forget to share our videos across your connections. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.